Hello everyone, it's Kay here and I'm here today with entry number 8 for my challenge and I'm absolutely delighted. So, I don't know who it's from. Um, I've really no idea. I'm looking for postcode and it's not really doing that. I can't see a, a postcode thing there. So, we'll take it out of the packaging. I have just opened up the bag as you can see and we'll see who has sent this lovely little bundle oh gosh right okay I'm opening up open it up using these trusty scissors sorry about the rustling okay oh I say oh my Oh, well, there's some lovely little bits and pieces here. Beautiful, beautiful washi tape. Look at that. And all done up in these nice bags. Right, I think I'm going to start with this one because I think this may well be a card. Look at that beautiful washi tape. All pinks and purples. Really lovely. Oh, I say... That's a lovely card too with lots of bling on it. That's an interesting bling. I don't think I've seen that. Oh, Carolina. Oh, hello. She's one of my um, new subbies and we had a little bit of a um, worry in time because I didn't recognise the name. And when I checked out the channel that Carolina was working from, it didn't really make sense. However, one of my other YouTube friends came to the rescue who knew you, Carolina. So, you know, it made it a bit safer. It's very difficult sometimes, especially when you try and find someone, you know, to make sure that they're genuine, basically. But um, Carolina is well known on Facebook by a lady that we mutually have as a friend in the crafty world. Oh. Oh. Now, Carolina actually messaged me as well throughout and wanted to know whether the mini album could be done without a scoreboard because she doesn't actually have one. So, bless her heart, she's tried several times by the, by the sound of the note and perseverance has paid off because she's actually done what she set out to do. So thank you for persevering, Carolina, and thank you so much for taking part. And that is the very lovely card. I really like that bling. I think it's only acrylic, but it is so pretty. And then the lovely image in the centre, a little bit of um, organza ribbon and a couple of appliques there and a lovely little flower down in the corner there. Really, really pretty. Thank you very much. And I'm guessing this is the 12 by 12 album. Oh, I say, look at that. Yeah, and she's done it all without the aid of a scoreboard. So it shows... If you mark your card and measure carefully, you can still get the desired effect from working without a, a scoreboard. Lovely. So if I show you on the front, there's the heart. A couple of little cut-out bling bits there. I'll move things out of the way. And then a little bit of layering and matting and then the heart and the bling in the centre. Really, really pretty, Carolina. Oh, you are a lady that likes purple. Look at that. Utter bling-a-ding-ding. -ding. It's so, so pretty. Oh, I like that. That's a lovely topper there. And here, look, with the little scalloped edging. Look at that. Well done. Well done. That is so pretty. A festival of purples and silvers. Really, really gorgeous. Look, if I moved along. We've got the three pockets there. Carolina's decorated it all beautifully. And then if I pull back, there's a little bow there. If I pull back, there, oh, look at that. Some gorgeous tags in each of the pockets. 
really really lovely thank you so much that is really pretty and the tags obviously can be used for journaling or just to put on to a gift that you're sending out so all of these lovely things will ultimately come in very very handy so thank you very very much indeed that's lovely put those back in I think Carolyn has made her pocket slightly shorter but not to the detriment of the of the project this is what I like when someone comes up with the the idea of changing to suit their own vision of what's to occur so delighted Carolina thank you so much put that over there that then folds that way that then folds that way and we're back to the front again really really lovely thank you and then these must be the cards and again Carolina's made the bag threaded through this lovely ribbon and made a little purse pocket for the cards and these are the three by threes oops don't unthread the ribbon here we go if I move these out of the way so you can see and using more of the paper and the bling no no um I'll put your name on the back of them, Carolina, because you've not... Oh, I see, you've put your information in the little card there. Beauchamp Walk, Scunthorpe. Lovely, and you've included your wrist size. Thank you, Carolina. Lovely, lovely. And it looks like they're all the same. So I've got one with Carolina's details in. Oh, I say three. Don't. Oops. Get them all together. Lovely. Look at those. The papers are just so pretty. Thank you so much. So I've got four for the challenge, and then the first one I took out is for me with Carolina's um, details on it, which I will keep safe. Thank you very, very much for taking part, Carolina. I will upload this just as soon as I've finished filming. It did come yesterday, but I had a very special day yesterday. It was my niece's wedding, and we had to do a bit of travelling to get there, so... You know, it didn't leave me much time in the day to do any filming. So thank you very much indeed. I hope you've enjoyed seeing Carolina's entry. I will put a link to what Carolina is using as her channel. And hopefully you'll be able to catch up with her, show her some crafty love and subscribe to her channel. So thank you for sharing this time with me. Take care everyone. Bye bye for now.